Hi class, welcome back. For our first quarter week 4 topic is maintain electric and hydraulic tools. So welcome, I am Harold M. Reformer, your TLE teacher in electrical installation and maintenance. So for our learning objective, we have identify electric tools and materials, inspect tools and equipment for the damage prior to their use, and appreciate the importance of maintaining the quality of electric and hydraulic tools. And then for this day, I would like you to answer the what's in. So let's start our activity. So tomorrow we are going to to check this activity in our follow-up discussion. Please secure your answer. And then for the direction, uh, match the tools in column A with their classification in column B. Write only the letter of, of the correct answer in your answer sheet. For column A, for number one, screwdriver. Number 2, claw hammer. Number 3, pliers. Number 4, wire gauge. And then number 5, fuller. So, you need to identify their classification in the column B. Secure your answer class. So, let's start our discussion. In electrical world, we have our electrical tools and materials. So, these tools help us to extend the performance of our hand. So, you can recall yung ating mga na-discuss nung first quarter uh, na week 1. Diniscuss po dun yung kahalagahan ng mga tools at the same time, we also discuss eh, and then dinapik din natin yan sa week 2 natin. Na-discuss din po yan, ano ang kahalagahan yan. At you can remember din po sa ating week 3, ay pinag-aralan din natin yung kung ano ang naitutulong ng mga electrical power tools sa ating performance o sa ating task. So, in this part, we're going to discuss the different types of uh, tools that commonly used in electrical. So, basically, we have a pliers. These pliers are electrical and hand tools used primarily for holding, cutting, twisting, uh, re retrieving, and joining or splicing electrical wires. So, ginagamit natin to basically sa pag-grip at the same time sa pagkakat. So, we have our slip joint, we have the diagonal cutting, we have the side cutting, we have the retainer ring, and then long nose, we have the snap ring. Okay, we have also lineman pliers, we have also the uh, long nose and then we have the setting uh, side cutting flyer so yun din yung ibang mga mga term natin o iba din mga tools na ginagamit natin pag pinag-usapan ang mga flyers so move on we have our second tools screwdrivers so in screwdrivers naman class is commonly used ginagamit para sa pag drive and then pull out ng screw natin so we have our philip and flat screwdriver and then we have the offset screwdriver okay next tools natin sa electrical installation and maintenance we have drilling equipment so on drilling equipment is commonly used to make hole in a building structure for passage of wire and conduit in new and old installation. So, we have an example ng electric drill or yung we have so-called portable electric drill and then we have the auger breeze and then we have the masonry bits and then hand drill. So, this one, ito pong tulis natin dito, ito pong auger branch, it is a manual and also yung ating hand drill, mechanically siya, okay, uh, manual din siya okay so yan po yung mga sample o mga tools na example po para sa drilling equipment okay and then yung masonary bits natin and then we have also yung ating mga bits na iba't ibang klase para din sa iba't ibang task po natin okay para sa drilling equipment and then last we have the soldering tools are used to make splice and top connection of wires okay so meron tayong soldering iron we have the soldering gun and then we have the blowtorch so these are the types of tools that we can use to sold a wire or anything that we need to connect uh, together okay so yan po yung ating mga basic tools so so now 
uh, medyo familiar na tayo sa iba't ibang klaseng tools na ginagamit sa electrical installation. So, let's discuss the main, uh, basic maintenance of electrical tools and equipment. In this part, we are going to discuss how to maintain and how to take care of our tools. So, ano yung mga step na yon? So, to ensure that your electric tools work when you need them, you must take proper care of them. A good routine or maintenance for your tools is one thing that you can do to make sure that the tools is in good working condition. Okay? So, number one, make sure. So, ano ba yung make sure na yon? Make sure that your electric tools are ready to go when you are keep them clean and free of dust. Okay? So, lagi nyo ipre-prepare hindi yung yung kung kailan nyo kailangan sa kanyo palilinisan para gamitin. So, mas maganda uh, lagi siya nakaprepare para anytime you need them, you can easily uh, na makuha sila at mabilis natin siya magagamit kagad. Okay? For number two, check the cord. Yan. So, basically, sa ating pong electrical tools, uh, we are commonly encountered po yan sa part po na ating uh, mga electrical power tools. So, always remember that look for tear or cut insulator on the power cord on your electric tools. This will ensure that your electric tool can get the power that it's need to function without accident. So, yan po yung ating tatandaan if we encounter na mayroong mga naka-expose na wire so, we can use uh, electrical tape and or some other materials like uh, sink o yung mga sink tube na tinatawag natin. We can use them to secure our exposed wire and then, uh, kapag ginawa natin yun, malaki ang chance na hindi tayo accident. Okay, for number 3 we have the uh, use the right tools correctly. So, yan. So, yung, yung minsan na po nakakalimutan natin. Use the tools correctly for their intended purpose. Follow the safety direction and operating procedure recommended by the manufacturer. When working on a circuit, use approved tools with insulated handle. So, uh, always remember that na, na we need to use the tools uh, appropriately para maiwasan din yung madamage at the same time maging cause ng hazard or accident sa gumagamit nito. And then for number 4, protect your tools. So, keep tools and cord away from heat, oil, and sharp object. This hazard can damage insulation if a tools or cord heat up Stop using it, report the condition to a supervisor or instructor immediately. Okay, so kung meron na tayo nakikita mga abnormalities at the same time we encounter na merong, merong ganito mga tools na, na expose sa mga sinabi natin na heat, oil, or sharp object, i-report natin to sa mga uh, supervisor natin or we can, we can apply uh, maintenance po sa ating pong uh, tools na to. So, lagi natin silang i-check. Okay? Number 5, use double insulated tools. Yan. Portable electric tools are classified by the number of insulation barriers between the electrical conductors in the tools and to work. In this part, so, lagi mas maganda na may insulator tayo or insulated yung tools natin. So, mahirap kasi, we, we are working with the electric and then basically, uh, commonly tools natin are made of tools. So, it is a best conductor po pagdating sa, electrica, sa electricity. So, always remember that we need to secure ourselves. So, that's why it is advisable, it is recommended, just use a tools na insulated po talaga or secured po pagdating sa uh, attraction ng electricity. And then, for the last, number six, storing your tools. Keep your electric tools stored in their original cases and container. This will keep them free from dust and dirt while they are not being used. Okay, so, uh, it is better to use toolbox or another uh, materials na pwede po natin masecure yung mga tools natin na yan. And then, para mabilis din natin silang makukuha, 
anytime na we need them at the same time mas maganda na, na nakaredy na rin sila kasi meron tayong maayos na storing uh, place or storing tools po like toolbox and cabinet okay so those are our lesson for today so let's uh, proceed in what's more I would like you to uh, answer this now on your time or in your student time para tomorrow in our follow-up discussion is checheka na lang po natin siya yung mga sagot nyo po for what I can do so the direction give the tips in maintaining electric tools and equipment so pakisagutan na rin yung class and then tomorrow tatanungin ko kayo yan as recitation nyo po okay for your written works recorded po na 30% ng inyong inyong grade uh, this activity is kailangan nyo pong sagutan okay uh, i-access nyo po ang Google Classroom ninyo para po doon nyo sasagutan sa Google Form and then para makita nyo rin po kagad kung ilan yung score ninyo yun po yung kagandahan na nagsasagot po sa Google Classroom okay direction write T if the statement is true and F if the statement is false write your answer on the space provided before the number So, for number one, all tools can be used as hammer. Okay? Number two, chisel is an example of boring tools. Number three, tooth cutting tools should be sharpened. And then number four, flat screwdriver can drive Phillips screw head. Okay? Tools and equipment must be stored according to their kind. And then number six, tools and cord must must keep away from heat, oil, and sharp object. And then number seven, electrical tools and equipment must be clean before restoring. Number eight, electric tools must be stored in their original cases and container. And then number nine, portable electric tools are classified by their number of insulation. Barriers and then number ten, light tools and equipment should be placed at the lowest part of the cabinet cabinet shelves. Okay, so those are the ten questions for for the assessment. So isulat nyo na po yung sagot niyo sa inyo po notebook and then tomorrow after our discussion sa palab discussion natin, ipopost po ang inyong assessment via Google Form sa ating pung Google Classroom. Okay, so class, yan na po ang ating lesson for this week 4. And then tomorrow po ay ang ating follow-up discussion. So, goodbye class. See you tomorrow. This is Herald M. Reforma, your TLE teacher, electrical installation and maintenance 9. Goodbye.